actually going slightly away from the main theme today of the beer and pie review. Um, and I'd like to show you how to build a centurion the proper way. Um, what is a centurion? A centurion is a drinking game. Some people call it the hundred club. I prefer the term centurion. And it's where you drink 100 shots of beer, basically, or any drink of your choice in 100 minutes. Um, and you drink one every minute, basically. And um, so it's not a lot, um, but it's, a, it's sort of a fun game you can play with your friends. It's, uh, it's a bit of a laugh. I've done a few of these over the years. Um, and there's a few different ways you can sort of do them. Uh, but I've experienced firsthand from a friend on the West Coast, the proper West Coast way. Um, and, my, and my first successful one was actually in Hokitika. So I will show you how they did it, basically. Um, and you, a couple of things you should probably do to prep is maybe take a piss beforehand. You know, take a piss 20 minutes before you start and then one more just before you start, basically. Because there are some rules where the West Coasters, the way they play, is once you've started, you're not allowed to leave the table, um, you're not allowed to go to the bathroom, and you're not allowed to vomit. Now, some versions of the rules have skewed that for people that think that's a bit silly, but that's the proper West Coast way, and I would say that you can't call yourself a centurion unless you play by those rules. Um, but obviously house rules and all that jazz. Um, so I'll show you how we do it um, on the West Coast. Today's beer of choice will actually be the Double Brown. It's a fine drop. I actually did my yard glass in uh, double brown, and it wasn't a pretty sight, I'll tell you that much. On my 21st, you actually have to run a few calcs for your work out how many beers you need. One shot of 30 mils and one can of beer 330 mils. It means that there's 11 per beer. So every 11, you've done one beer, and then if you've gone up to 100, it works out that you need about nine beers to get to 99. So it's just over nine beers. Work out how many people you're drinking with, and you times it by nine, basically. And then add an extra one. I always add an extra one, just to uh, keep sticking over a little bit. You get a bit of spilling, so that's pretty fair. Now, here's the way to stop yourself getting bloated, is you actually open them all up at the start. So here I am. Ooh, that's two. I'm going to do ten, maybe eleven, you know, just to be safe. Oh, right, right, so now I've uh, done my nine beers, and here's the interesting part. The vessel of choice is actually these sweet little film canisters. Now, this is what they used to do back in the day on the West Coast. The film canisters are pretty hard to come by these days. I know you can use a shot glass, but there is something about these that make it quite handy. Um, and the idea is you pour all your beers into a big vat or like a punch bowl. Um, if you've got, you know, 10 or 11 of you, maybe one on each end of your table. And you basically pour all your beers into here and then you can dip and fill up your shots and then you hear your dinger and you go drink. The other thing is you need some way to record the time. It's pretty helpful if you try start on the hour or one minute past the hour because then every minute you can quickly um, see what one you're on by just looking at the clock. Uh, it's pretty important having a bell that goes off because you sort of start getting a bit drunk at the end and if you don't if you don't have a bow, you start sort of losing it, and you look up at the clock, and you're like, what was I on, what's the counter? So it's a good, it's a good way, you can, you can get these uh, YouTube videos, I, I was actually going to make one, I haven't done it in time, basically. And it's going to be just a YouTube video, which is an hour long, or hour 40 long, for 100, that will just go ding, every minute, and it'll keep count for you. So I'll upload that, put it in the description, in the future, but it's not up yet. And in the meantime, there's another one that I'm just sort of going to use in the meantime, but you want to be watching my video in the future. So here we go, that's what 10 beers in a bucket looks like. You may wonder why the hell do you put it all in a bucket? Why can't you just drink it straight out of the can into the shot? It really helps get all the beer out. Because it, 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 you can get quite bloated if you drink lots and lots and lots and lots of these. And you get kind of gassy. And it's not a good feeling. You're drinking more and more, it's not that good. So if you've got it all in a big bucket, it starts going flat over time. 
So I'll start this one in about half an hour, but it'll be nice and prepped for me. The last thing you need is, I think compulsory, or as the government would say, essential, is a funny outfit. Some sort of comical dress-up attire, just to make the whole thing a bit more enjoyable. It makes a great photo. I've got a Legionnaire's hat and some sharkies. So that's exciting. I'll uh, see you soon. Oh, and a real game changer. It does get quite messy, but a pair of handy towels or a set, whatever you call it, it really helps. So I, I'm set up on this little stool here to the right. If I set my handy towels up on that, so when I dip in, there's always a few drips. Um, the handy towels catch a dip and it, it leaves a little mess. And um, Dad stays happy because I'm actually in this man cave right now. You ideally want a ripper of a day, but it's overcast, so I've, I've come inside. Um, all the best. I'm actually going to be live streaming this Centurion. Um, this one will be on at 5.30 tonight. If you're watching this retrospectively, it's already happened. So hopefully uh, it went alright. Um, and family dinner was a real thing. Alright, thank you.